Speakers are the one piece of technology that can drastically increase the quality of our experience with any kind of media. With their Sound 63 speaker system, Harman Kardon shot up on my list of premium speaker producers as their speakers sounded incredible and looked as though they were part of an art exhibit. But in 2014, what does Harman Kardon have to offer that can take what the sound sticks had and bring it to a new level? The Harman Kardon Aura is the evolution of the Harman Kardon Sound Sticks 3 that comes in at $400 but can usually be found for cheaper on Amazon, the link provided in the video description below. It comes with a brand new design that now has wireless technologies thrown in. My roommate has described it at times as a giant glass egg, and it seems pretty fitting. Even though it isn't actual glass, the clear plastic enclosure gives the speaker the look that I have come to love about Harman Kardon. Something you could put in the living room and not have it look like spare computer equipment. Now the design itself is definitely modeled after the subwoofer of the Soundsticks 3, but the difference with the Aura is that it encompasses the entire speaker system. There are six mid to high range 1.5 inch transducers lining the bottom of the speaker for getting great sound that goes in all directions. These speakers by themselves produce better sound than 90% of speakers I've used in the past. And even though these are fitted as omnidirectional speakers, they can still produce stereo sound. Harman include what they call stereo widening DSP technology, which creates the effect of stereo sound, and it works quite well at creating the effect. On the bottom, you will find what gives the Aura its punch, and that is a room shaking 4.5 inch subwoofer. And I mean room shaking literally. Another design trait that the Aura borrowed from the Soundstick subwoofer was the light within the glass enclosure, which still looks amazing in the dark, but also provides a function. When you control the volume through the touch sensitive buttons on the outside ring of the speaker, the light is an indicator that shows you how much the volume has increased, decreased, or if it has reached the maximum or minimum levels. And even looking at the power brick itself, you can see that good design goes in even to the power brick as it has a very nice curved design and makes it less of an eyesore than a traditional power brick for a large speaker. Now, like I said earlier, there are some wireless technologies that have found its way into the Aura, such as Bluetooth, Apple AirPlay, and DLNA on a Windows machine. And on the back, auxiliary in and optical audio are also options for input. The only output you will get from the speaker is the headphone jack, which is more than you can say for the older generation of sound sticks. Connecting to the speaker is pretty straightforward. Once you turn it on, wireless technologies instantly start pumping out so you can look to connect either through your Bluetooth enabled computer, tablet, or phone. And if you use an iOS or Android device, you'll have access to Harman Kardon's app that lets you set playlists for listening, control EQ, control volume directly over your phone, and even control the bass levels of the Aura, which range from no bass at all to room shaking bass. However, bass control is only through the app and cannot be found anywhere on the Aura itself. Moving on to the quality of the audio, trying to capture the quality of this speaker through YouTube just wouldn't be possible, but I was still able to find music that could help me feel how strong the speaker was in each area. For example, the highs and mid ranges, I listened to a lot of Lindsey Sterling and Coldplay. The violin solo sounded clear enough that it could have been a live performance, and during Coldplay, the speaker was able to provide strong bass as well as very clear vocals without any kind of distortion. For the lows of the bass, I used a lot of Imagine Dragons, specifically the song Radioactive. This is when I used the app to turn the bass to room shaking levels, and I was not disappointed to say the least. The power of the bass just made me smile at the amazing power of this one speaker. And again, little to no distortion, even with the bass levels that high. This speaker is just all around great at producing high quality audio in a wonderful looking form factor with a relatively small footprint. Where could this speaker possibly go wrong? Well, like I said earlier, not having bass controls anywhere but the app is going to get old fast, especially if you're connecting to something besides a device that can run the app in the first place. Second, I have always liked the idea of touch sensitive buttons in the fact that Harman Kardon gives you a great layout and offers the LED ring as a source of feedback 
it makes it even better. I just feel that one or two physical buttons would have made the experience feel much less questionable and more certain when entering inputs, such as power and possibly volume. And finally, this not being a slam against any feature but rather a discovery and a tip of advice, this is not a speaker meant to be on your desk with your computer. Comparing this speaker to the Bose Companion 2 speaker system almost feels wrong at times. Aside from the fact that the Aura costs four times as much as the Bose, they are not created for the same purpose. Bose speakers were clearly designed to be side by side with your computer. While the Harman Kardon could still pull it off, and I doubt you would find many people complaining about having this as a companion to audio coming from their computer, it just feels off. I think of the Aura the way I think of my very, very old iHome IH8 alarm clock. It is a great speaker and even provides great use besides audio, but I would almost never use it as a speaker for my computer system directly. The Harman Kardon Aura was designed to be a great speaker that is also an art piece. You put it in the living room or somewhere people hang out and want to listen to music, but don't want to see or have to deal with an ugly looking sound system. With the addition of wireless technologies like Bluetooth and AirPlay, it can be turned into a social hub for audio as well as a tremendous sound system. Some issues I had with the Soundsticks 3 back in the day seem to have been cleared up with this speaker, and this one speaker design makes using the speaker all the more enjoyable. At $400, this isn't a budget speaker by any stretch of the imagination, and it is definitely not a portable speaker either. This is a piece of art that promises big sound in a design that you will want to show off. As a computer speaker, it is a bit awkward. But as an all-around speaker, it is worth every penny.